Fashion enthusiasts will be in for a visual treat when the Asian Civilizations Museum opens its doors to a new exhibition called Hashtag SG Fashion Now this Friday. It will offer a snapshot of Singapore's contemporary fashion landscape with a twist on Asian art and culture. Now, these four Singapore-inspired ensembles are uh, up in the museum's lobby as part of a two-section showcase. Uh, they're created by the finalists of Singapore Stories 2020, a local fashion design competition organised by the Textile and Fashion Federation. Meanwhile, craftsmanship takes the spotlight at the Contemporary Gallery. For the first time, the museum handed over the central task of curating the exhibition to five students from La Salle College of the Arts. One of them is Celestine Wong. We also have with us today a designer, Go Lai Chuan. First to you though, Celestine, give us a quick run through of the highlights and what did your team do to bring across this whole idea of craftsmanship? So in the ideation stage, my team and I were thinking of showcasing Singapore's national attire, but that is a tricky one to go about as the country is a melange of ethnics, many ethnics and culture. So we thought, what better way to showcase Singapore's identity through the lens of fashion and craftsmanship. So for example, at the exhibition, you will be able to see the coming together of two cultures, a white a uh, lace kabaya paired with an intricately embroidered sari by Kavita Tulasidas from Starmat, a three-generational fashion house. And another exquisite piece that places Singapore fashion scene on a global stage is from Andrew Gunn. His piece was crafted with skillful tailoring and refined trimmings. This piece was specifically done to bring forth hope in times of uncertainty. So what we see here is that Singapore has an ever-evolving national attire that does not conform to a particular style. And adding on to that point, um, the designers represent part of the larger fashion scene in Singapore and were chosen um, as a response to ACM mm. selection to highlight contemporary applications of traditional craftsmanship. Let's bring in uh, designer Go Lai Chuan into our discussion. Now, his Cheong Sam is one of the eight designs on display. Uh, tell us more about this uh, particularly gorgeous piece. Well, I mean, hi, um, having me. I am uh, involved and I'm uh, inspired by this uh, very uh, cultural uh, here in Asia. I am uh, also inspired by say, the East and West. And I think very much that the uh, Singaporeans here who uh, have lived uh, 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 here in Singapore and travel, I think we are so used to something that's very uh, modern, uh, traditional, and uh, never to um, uh, uh, like just, just, just traditional. I think we, we want to move forward as well. So we work with uh, embroideries, we work with uh, techniques, we work with something that's very modern as well. Uh, we had the use of East and West uh, because the techniques are so different. Now to prepare for the showcase, the student curators were mentored by various teams from the museum. They also work closely with the established designers whose works they featured to better understand their craft. Uh, Celestine, it is your first time, I believe, curating a, a fashion show. What was that like? Uh, what did you take away from that experience? Well, um, it's indeed my first it? time mm -hmm. exhibiting an exhibition. Uh, well, I have learned uh, how exhibitions are conceptualized and put together, and it's definitely not an easy job, and it truly takes a lot of planning to bring forth Singapore's identity through fashion. And this is something we students um, have always been taught in LaSalle to have a strong research to back up anything we do and to, of course, more importantly, have passion in whatever we invest our time in. I also learned about how fashion craftsmanship plays a crucial role in Singapore's ever-evolving identity, which is another, which is another in, uh, insightful experience I'm proud to have gained. The LaSalle and ACM team also put together an e-publication for those who are interested in not only seeing the garments virtually, but also learn about the, uh, the designer's memories and processes behind every piece. I hope that this exhibition, uh, from this exhibition, our society will learn 
to appreciate our Asian artisans, craft women and craftsmen. Yeah, and Celestine, how will this experience then inspire your future works, do you think? It will definitely inspire my future works in the way, um, in my thought process. So to begin with, um, everything we do, we need to have a storytelling behind it. And I think this, this area really backs up uh, anything we do, you know, with, uh, with, uh, with good research and good understanding and having good knowledge is very important. Yeah. And, and I try a question to you about the sort of young students and sort of the, uh, the, what they bring to the table in terms of fashion. Well, I want to bring over here is that, I mean, um, I think uh, here in Singapore, we are at this uh, crossroads. I mean, we are actually, we are at this place where we are not just exactly uh, very Chinese or very, uh, a very, Malay, I think because we are so used to, um, like I say, the culture, uh, the, the, the modern modern lifestyle, and also I think our clothes are no longer quite just or traditional. I think we move on, whether it's the fabric, whether it's the color, whether it's the proportion, and I think that's what we need to work from as well. We have to mm. work on this. Yeah, yeah, aside from the earlier pieces that we've seen, you've also been touted as Singapore's Cheongsam maestro. The bulk of your work centres on melding heritage and fashion. And I was just uh, going to ask, why is that philosophy of melding the two so important to you? And where do you see our local fashion scene uh, heading, uh, particularly post-COVID? No, I mean, um, like I said, we cannot just... Um, stick on uh, uh, to the uh, very traditional uh, techniques and, and fabric and, and proportion. I mean, the new woman here, and, and, and uh, even for guys as well, we have a different lifestyle now. There's no way we can just uh, uh, be wearing the kind of uh, very fitted dresses where it allows you to move around. So what I do is um, I, I uh, use a different technique of making these dresses. These dresses are just uh, very basic looking, very very basic uh, uh, cheap house. But the technique of doing it is totally different. I'm mean, cutting on the bias. You know the proportions different. The 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 the, the, uh, the uh, technique of cutting it is all different as well. And even the embroideries that my brother Eddie does, you know, they're all using like say a, a tra transparent uh, a thread and all. Um, you know, all done and, 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 and beat it back again, you know. So, so I think it's very important to stick on to the, uh, the, the traditional techniques, but at the same time make it move forward for the future. I think we really need to, if not, there's no way we can survive, whether it's just, just the clothes or, or, or fashion. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for sharing your thoughts with us, both of you. We've been speaking with Celestine Wong, student curator of SG Fashion Now and designer Go Lai Chuan.